Welcome back. This is Doom Joker with I Win Quaffle Cassie from Why So Serious Starcraft. Another great game for you guys starting yeah. right about now. Oh, yeah. And we have uh, Ashley and Viper. Both primarily play Zerg. Viper decided to switch it up a little bit and play Protoss. Both are kind of uh, a little bit discouraged with the current ZVZ matchup. <laughs> We've been trying to get Ashley up on this cast for a little while now, but mm -hmm. my uh, my stupid ass can't fix an audio problem <laughs> for the life of me. So <laughs> This is going to be our first live cast from Ashley, so it's going to be good. And we did... They are going to go at least two games because Zerg is both their main race. So we told them mm -hmm. Viper goes toss this match and Ashley's going to go toss next match. So it'll be sweet. sweet. Heck yeah. And there's uh, Ashley with the good manner. And there's Viper with the better good manner. The better just manner. screaming it. The Viper better manner. with the better manner. <laughs> this guy is just <laughs> kind of screaming guy. it out. And we are playing on GSL Crevasse. I really like this map because it's just weird. I like the natural spot. It's just mm -hmm. weird. I mean, it's back farther from your main, harder to get to than your main, and it's got one gas, and it's just weird. Yeah, it's really easy to take that back natural and uh, defend your front. If your opponent breaks down the rocks at your main, it could be a little bit difficult to hold off. But yeah, Absolutely. Um, you have time to react, which is always nice. So we see... Uh, um, Viper scouting Ashley with his first scout and we have Ashley moving her overlord in the correct direction to scout. Nice. So both players will get relatively strong information early in the game. And we see Ashley going for the greedier expansion. There is what? Expan yeah, there is a expansion right outside your main with two gases. <laughs> and can be it's harder to defend. It's a pretty long distance from your main. Mm hmm It is. It is. But there is a still a large difference between where you are and your opponent is, so Yeah, definitely. You gotta go around a bunch of stuff. I like this yeah. middle area too, how it's all high ground and everything you can do. There's a lot of different entrances entrances into mm -hmm. your into your opponent's base from the either you gotta break down these rocks. So that mm -hmm. that base that Ashley took is really susceptible to attacks because just because of all the high ground around it it's pretty scary mm -hmm. and uh if we want if the protoss wants to pressure her, he's going to have to either chrono boost out uh, zealots i actually think he missed his timing for that um or he has to do some kind of like three gate at least three gates and push with a uh, a few sentries and um, a couple of stalkers and some zealots. Yeah, that would that would be good. Um, otherwise, you could go for the four gate and try to just go for the kill. But in a map like this, uh, the, it's so easy to defend your natural that Protoss can easily take this back base and do a strong two base timing push <laughs> if desired. I agree with you. We have a little bit of misclick on Viper. He is chronoing the cybernetic score that is not currently doing anything. Yep, uh, he may just favor the cybernetic score greatly, <laughs> and just wanted to give it a little bit of a love, love I tap. I wonder if he if he thought that warp gate was teching and he still doesn't know that it's not teching right now, which could be dangerous for him if he doesn't spot that soon. Yeah, this screws up a lot of timing for the Protoss because getting that warp gate out is an essential tech. Ooh, and we do see a Twilight Council going down. So, Ooh, DTs. I'm feeling DTs. Yeah, yeah. DTs or Blink. Ooh, uh, yeah. I would not be surprised to see either come out. Oh, is she going to spot a... it? No. Oh. She does get stopped by that stalker. Oh, Viper really needs to put that uh, Zella on hold position instead of stop position. Yeah. And uh, back in Ashley's base, uh, we just see a whole bunch of drones. Just to... Crap load of drones. Uh, and then Viper's a third base going up. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, Viper's throwing down the sad face. I think he just noticed that he didn't have Warp Gate on the way. He just threw it down and chronoed it. That is what I think the sad face was for. Yeah, definitely. And he, <laughs> he knows his timing. Maybe he wanted to do some kind of blink or charge timing because he's throwing down a fourth gate. Oh, yeah. And without Warp Gate, you cannot do any type of pressure. Nope. 
Absolutely no not. Really. Ashley has yeah. good position of her overlords, and he is throwing down his nexus up there. Yep. And Ashley and is beginning the creep spread, and if you guys haven't seen her play, her creep sp spread is nasty. This whole map's going to be creeped in very shortly. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited for that. I love when Zergs create that creep highway. It's mm -hmm. just a... I call it the highway to victory for Zerg. The highway to victory, just gooping yeah. the map. It makes you so much faster. It makes you see everything that's oh coming God. out. I love the vision from that. It's just ridiculous. So mm -hmm. Ashley's third just popped right now. Possibly see a drone transfer coming up pretty soon. Yeah, and we see a huge economic lead for Ashley right now. It's 43 drones to 22 probes. Oh. Viper isn't even making probes. He's so flustered from his opening that... I think he's forgetting what to do. Uh, and he, he kind of threw down an expansion after he realized he wasn't going to be able to put down, put on any pressure. Mm -hmm. And Ashley sees that expansion, so she knows she's completely safe to drone up right now. And she's even got Zerglings out uh, in the front of Viper's base. So She did knock down it. those rocks. Did she knock down those rocks, or did Viper? I believe Viper did. Okay. I'm not sure. Viper is throwing down a dark shrine, though, which is going to yeah. be awesome. But Ashley is morphing in an overseer up at the top, and she is going to be she's going to do a run by. I'm sure of Viper's base to see everything that's going on, and she's moving it out right now. Once she, she sees that dark shrine, she should be just fine. Ooh, she throws down a little um, little changeling. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I love the changelings, especially when you can sneak them in the purple. army. It's always awesome. Yep, and she's going to come over here, and her path is set to see the Twilight Council. Does she see it? Yes. Oh, but she oh, did not she click on it. she would have to click on it really fast to see if it was a Dark Shrine or not. I don't know if she got that information. She did see the Twilight Council, and she, um, with good game sense, you could and she just uh, spotted it decipher it that. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. There she goes. Now she sees it. Now she knows everything that's going on. She sees the four warp gates. She sees the Twilight Council not researching anything, and she sees the Dark Shrine. And there was a DT that just got warped in, but it is getting stuffed by Ashley's Overseer. was sitting on it, ready to go. Ooh, yep. And it looks like Viper's going to be in a lot of trouble. Ashley has an immense drone lead right now that oh, Viper is not going to be able to keep up with. Yeah, those, do, those Dark... Uh, Templar had about 15 kills between the both of them because they were positioned in a in a very nice way where Zerglings can only hit them one at a time. But they didn't get very many drone kills, so economically, Ashley is still way ahead, and Zerglings at this point are just kind of a throwaway unit. Mm -hmm. And Ashley has basically full vision. Vision. She has three out of the four Zelnaga watchtowers. Oh, yeah. And there's really nothing Viper can do at this point to surprise Ashley. Yep, Ashley's definitely going to know everything that's happening. She has... what? Is, she she just dropped her infestation pit. Um, is she going lair? What is she going with those? Is she getting... Oh, she is pumping out infestors at the moment with pathogen glands. She's getting glial reconstitution. Lots of upgrades, and it looks like Viper's going for Blink right now. Yep. Um Blink is going to be less effective, obviously, versus the Infestors. The Fungal Growth stops the Blink, and this, you know, this yeah, is not going to be uh, good for Viper. Viper moving out with a, a decent decent force. Ashley's going to spot it. She's probably going to macro up a d bigger army than that right now. And uh, Yep, she's pumping out roaches and, <laughs> and speedlings right now. She's doing a great job reacting to this. Viper just doesn't have enough stuff. Nope. He doesn't have enough stuff, doesn't have enough units. He's throwing a few DTs in his army. Actually, a lot of DTs mm -hmm. in his army. But yep. Ashley's going to have full vision. She has overseers. She has a lot of roaches. She has infestors. It's... She's almost like luring him in. And oh. here, go, here it goes. Some nice force fields, but the lings get in, and the fungal girls go down. Mm -hmm. This is going to be possibly see a GG going on right here. Great force yep. builds, you know, it, it stopped the Zerglings for a little bit, but he kind of backed up and the Zerglings just funneled through. There was just too many of them. Yep, and he does have a few force fields left, but it's really going to do nothing. There's and we GG. get the GG. So, we will hopefully be going into game two, whereas Ashley will be playing Toss and Viper will be playing his main 
Zerg. GG. GG.